Parshas Mishalach Shlishi. Kla Yisrael is faced. There's the Yamsif in front of them. The Mitzrayim are in back of them. There's no way to turn. So what does a Yid do when he's in a Matzav of a tzara, where he has no hope? He begins to daven. Says the Pasuk, Vayoymer Hashem Eli, Matitzak Eli. Why is Kla Yisrael davening? Dabrel b'nei Yisrael v'Yisrael, just to continue, don't stop where you are. Stop praying, stop davening, just keep on going. All the Mepharshim, the commentators asked, what does that mean, stop davening? Isn't this the proper way that when a Yid is faced in a tzara, he's at such a dangerous moment, isn't that the response of a Yid to start davening? What does it mean, stop davening? Matitzek Eli, why are you davening? Dabal b'nei Yisol, the Yisol, just travel, just move forward. What's the meaning? And the Territ says, you know why? Because the Arachai Makadish tells us that yes, in a sense, we were lacking the merit. We didn't have the schusim. Because the Medrash says, Halolu oiv de'avay de zara, v'halolu oiv de'avay de zara. Unfortunately, Klai Yisol was guilty also of idolatry. And therefore, being that we didn't have the merit, we didn't have the schus, we had to do something. What is it that the Rebbein Shalom requested for Klai Yisrael to do? Says Rebbein Yolapiyan, Daber Bnei Yisrael V'Yisrael, to look forward, to look ahead. Don't sulk in the past. Don't fall in remorse what I did wrong. Now is not the time for that. But rather, he has to realize his greatness, his koiches, his exaltedness, what he's invested with. Daber Bnei Yisrael V'Yisrael, look forward. Look how much more you could accomplish. There's going to be a Kabbalah Satoru, we're going to become a nation. We're going to Shtelevek, we're creating a Klal Yisrael. Dabrel B'nei Yisrael V'Yisrael in life, we always have to look ahead. Realize our potential, our great koiches that we have. And it was in that tzchus that Klal Yisrael prevailed. And there was Zeichet to witness one of the greatest miracles of all humanity. Shabbos.